So this video is another example of a calculated control with another report and this is based upon the sum function so we're expanding the report we created previously to include more details. So we go to our view and we go to our design view. Now, what we're going to do here is add more information to our details section. So we need a text box. So our detail section, throw one in, then delete the bit that says text box on it. Cut that one. And we're left with the unbound box. Screen. It doesn't matter if it's not all entirely visible, uh, but we're going to write some formula into it. So, right click and we open up our property sheet. And this is something we should become quite familiar with at this point in time. So, in our control source box, we we'll type the following. You can either use that one or you can use your expression mother up here. It depends what you're more comfortable doing. Equals sum. Then again, you have your rounded bracket, your rounded bracket, then you have your square bracket, then you have quantity. You close our square bracket, then you multiply again. Then another square bracket, it does get become a bit of a mouthful, but you'll get into the habit of doing it. Then your square bracket. And then finally close with your rounded bracket. Then push OK. And your formula, if it's correct, should be accepted in the one below. Uh, as always, we'll format the field to currency. And then we want to make that two decimal places, which is what we should have below. Now, and Okay, and now what does this change? Um, whether it's visible or not. Now let's see. Yes, yeah, so you can hide. You can hide from. You can hide cells. So if you click no, it's not visible. If you make that yes, then it should be visible when we are um, showing information. But we don't actually want the computer to show this answer in the details section. We want to transport this to the report footer, which we'll do in a bit. Change that from yes to no. That means nothing will show up when we go back to our report like so and we've done formula our formula has been accepted but there's nothing there there's no additional information so let's go to view and design view now the next point we want to insert a text box into the footer like so and again we want our label and we want our details set all right Unbound box. So let's see. I want to call this one overall total. Now right click into our unbound box. Like so now we're going to do a link here, link up to forms. First of all, we need to find our control source. Our control source is whatever we put our formula into, and that's here. So if we right click on it and go to properties, again, our control source is text 31. So to get our answer from up there to down here, we right click and go to our properties, and you need the following to type in the following. For a control source, it would be equals square bracket square bracket then uh, text 31 all one word let's close our square bracket again now all going well we should have got our information from up in the detail section down to our report footer now let's see Let's go view, report view, 
and down here we have managed to transport our information from our detail section down to our footer giving us a total of everything that we multiplied. It's quite complicated I suppose and it can be a little bit tricky but it can crop up a little bit. Um, this format, the sum, can be used for all your basic things like average, count, max or minimum. And hopefully these are useful. Databases can be pretty tricky, especially when it comes to calculated controls and calculations and calculations and query. But the key is just keep on practicing. Hopefully these are of some use to you.